Hey there folks, so a while ago I posted a video asking you guys what obscure metagame you wanted me to play, and then I completely ignored all of your helpful suggestions because I wanted, I really, at the end of the day, what I really wanted to play was a red, blue, yellow, gen 1 battle, um, and so I have this battle against uh, Dallas Boy 1992 aka Cowboys and Miley fan, um, and I said, bring anything, I'm using an in-game team, and he brought a much more competitive team than I did. Anyway, he leads down with Executor, I lead off with Zapdos. Uh, I'm hoping that I can outspeed, I cannot, and I get put to sleep first turn, and that sucks. I was really hoping that I could KO with a drill peck. Um, sorry for all the stuff going on in the background, and um, I guess this recording really was not very good in retrospect. Um, I have to do so many weird things to get these... Uh, to get Gen 1 battles, uh, just setting up TGB Duel was a nightmare and a half, and uh, I, I started off trying to battle another guy, uh, RXR25, but um, the battle just never worked out because um, there was this weird unsinking problem. But anyway, uh, here I'm expecting my opponent to switch out. I've sent out my Arcanine, and I'm thinking, you know, uh, I'm going to go for the... He's going to think I'm going to go for the Fire Blast, and uh, I think I actually do go for the Fire Blast. I was considering Hyper Beam, and it looked for a second like I had selected Hyper Beam, but now my opponent's obviously like, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I decide, you know, go for Fire Blast. Um, it, uh, Arcanine is fairly fast, so even if he switches out someone to resist it, uh, it should still be okay. So he switches out Rhydon, an excellent prediction. I go for the Fire Blast, it hits, it does a decent chunk of damage, actually. Oh, because I get a crit, even though it's not very effective. But, and I get the burn, so I'm like, yay! A little bit of hex in my face. So that's great. Uh, now I'm going to go f go ahead and switch out into Blastoise, um, because, yeah, so you're looking at my team. I have a freaking Butterfree. The, the deal with this team is that it will, it almost is exactly an in-game team that uh, I w used on Pokemon Blue. Um, made it easier, by the way, to, uh, then do the modifications in um, the hacking program, Pika Save or whatever it was, um, because then you don't have to make the Pokemon from scratch, you just have to, have to edit the stats, but um, I do have Gen... so my in-game team had Haunter instead of Gengar because I was playing it on an emulator, it's hard to trade on an emulator, um, and my in-game team also had uh, Ninetales instead of Arcanine, but you know, I like Arcanine better. Um, so anyway, my opponent here is going to switch out into Blastoise as I go for the Body Slam, predicting a switch out. Um, I go for another body slam here, uh, but the, I, yeah, and I actually outspeed, which is interesting. I get the paralysis, which is yay, because, um, so crits in this, in Gen 1 are based on speed. I haven't played much Gen 1, I gotta be honest. Um, so crits in Gen 1 are based on speed, uh, and so I figure, you know, get that thing paralyzed, there's a really great chance I'm gonna be able to get a crit. I have no idea why I switched down into Butterfree, I guess I forgot that Lapras had Thunderbolt. Um, but that was a really dumb play on my part. The, so uh, Butterfree had Giga Drain, and so the idea was send it in, go for the Giga Drain. I actually take that hit rather well, uh, to be honest. Oh, not Giga Drain, I'm sorry, Mega Drain, because there is no Giga Drain in Gen 1. Um, anyway, uh, I went for Sleep Powder, predicting the switch out, but my opponent didn't switch out. Um, yeah, by the way, this recording is really crap quality. I'm really sorry, folks. Um, yeah, so basically, since I'm a Linux guy, uh, I have to play. I have to make this uh, TGB duel go through um, a VM, a virtual machine VM, where it's basically if you're a Mac and you have Fusion, it's the same kind of thing. Um, but I can't run it natively. I can't even run it through Wine, um, which is what I use to make my other videos. Anyway, I go for Hyperbeam here, hoping to get a crit. And I do get a crit, but it actually even a crit doesn't do that much to Lapras. Um, I mean, this battle's not really going very well, but a large, large part of it is because I have never played Gen 1 before. Um, I mean, that's not true. I played a little bit on, um, PO back when it was Stadium, um, but no one, it was really hard to find people to battle in it, and I was just using a crap team, and I really wasn't, um, doing very well. But anyway, yeah, I was, I was expecting my opponent, uh, an opponent to bring, you know, bring anything Pokemon. I was not expecting an opponent who would bring a very, an actually fairly competitive team. Um, but anyway, so I go for the Earthquake, take out Lapras, and that is fine and dandy. Um, so now my opponent, so I've taken out one of his Pokemon, I've, put an, I've burned another one, that's actually pretty okay. He goes out into Executor, 
Um, predicting, I'm kind of predicting uh, Giga Drain here. So I'm gonna go out into Gengar, who I believe in Gen One still resists it. Um, so yeah, predicting the Giga Drain. Go out into Gengar. Uh, unfortunately, my opponent predicts that and goes for Psychic. So Gengar, one of the only really good Pokemon on my team, is gonna get taken out to a bit of prediction. So that sucks for me. Bye bye Gengar. Oh, man. Um, so. Yeah, so now I'm down to three Pokemon, one of which is asleep. I'm going to go ahead and send out Zapdos. I know that sleep mechanics don't work the same, and basically a sleeping Pokemon is essentially a dead Pokemon. I mean, there's a chance I could wake up, but uh, it's still a waste of turns so my opponent would be able to just put me to sleep the next turn, assuming Sleep Powder didn't miss. But it's still my only hope. Uh, it's, it's just my only hope at this point. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, the, for the... I'm going to be doing something weird... Uh, in this, like, I'll be continuing doing weird random, um, things. I won't be doing another Gen 1 battle for a long time, but, um, every, once every 16 battles, I will be doing something that I haven't done before, um, and I think next what I really want to do is a Gen 3 Pokemon contest, which apparently you can do over, um, Link, so presumably you could do it over Hamachi Connections, um, and VBA Link or whatever. But yeah, that's what I want to try next, because that's how... I'm, I'm in my spare time, uh, as I commute to work, I, uh, I don't drive, I take public transportation. But anyway, um, I pl I've been playing Emerald, and I finally got up to um, Lily Cove City, and I, I love Pokemon contests, even though uh, my, my teams that I have aren't really set up for them. They're just so much fun, and they're frustrating as hell, but they're fun. And I would love to play someone else in it. Anyway, here I'm just thinking, this is GG. Uh, he's gonna go for Giga Drain. Weird that my... It's really weird that Sand Slash outspeeds Executor, but Zapdos doesn't. I think I screwed something up there. That's the only possible explanation for how that happened. Um, because there's, that's just, that just makes no sense. I mean, Zapdos is super fast, Sand Slash is pretty darn slow. Um, I don't understand. That's really, really weird. Um, but hey, whatever, Nature of the Beast. Anyway, I was expecting him to try to put me to sleep, but instead he goes for Explosion! He goes all explodey. Wait, maybe he, uh, he, maybe he did out... No, no, no! Wait, I don't understand what happened. So he takes out my Sand Slash, um, and now I'm going to go out into Blastoise, which is my last Pokémon, and he's got so many things that can, uh, deal with Blastoise. Um, and he sends out Jolteon, so I'm like, oh, well, yeah, this is definitely a good game. Uh, I'm gonna go for Hydro Pump, just in case he does something weird, uh, or decides to take Mercy on me, or maybe I can survive with Thunderbolt, I don't think I can survive with Thunderbolt, but you never know. So Thunderbolt hits, my health goes down, 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 and that's a one-hit KO, because it's a crit, but also, whatever. Great game, Dallas Boy, um, hope you folks enjoyed this really weird battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.